<laughs> hey guys, I'm Sydney. No, you're not. I'm, I'm Sydney. That's Sydney, and this is Christian. And today we are at. Well, that didn't help at all. Today we are at Universal. Universal, and we're taking you along with us on our adventure. It's kind of the dead season right now for Florida, where there's like it's not a full season. Yeah, you know, Thanksgiving just happened and Christmas hasn't happened yet, so nobody's really vacationing for so, a couple days. Yeah. So today is a good day for us to try and ride everything. And we're going to show you our favorite rides from best to worst. And uh, kind of do a little tier list along the way. Maybe give you some little facts about the ride. Who knows? We're going to have fun. And then uh, hopefully you have fun watching it. We can even see right here just at the main hub of City Walk that... There's not even really a lot of people just here. We haven't even walked into the parks itself yet. So, so that's a good sign. That the reason nobody's here is because they're all in line for... Cat in the Hat. Um, not what I was going to say, but sure, we'll go We'll go with Cat in the Hat. Storm Force Accelerator. We're going to go investigate those two rides, and we'll let you guys know if that's what everyone's in line for. Come with me. All right, we're going to take bets now, babe. Since you have usually uh, a lot of trouble with your finger working at the turnstile to get into the park. We're gonna take our bets now. Is it gonna work first time or not? Yes. All right. She's uh, really optimistic. <laughs> Update, my finger did work. You talking to? I just hear a lot of oh. This is the super crime reporting hotline. Oh, have you seen anything worthy of crime? Well, anything all worthy the to report? Are currently assisting with other crimes, so I can't talk to anybody. Right wow, now. this seems like a really inefficient crime reporting service. Ow, rude. If you guys are trying to call the uh, crime line update service, they are uh, usually pretty busy. So, must be a lot of crime going on here at Universal. All right, here we are at Amazing Adventures of Spider Man. And uh, what's the wait time looking like? Five now, this is a Sydney and Christian classic right here. This is the first ride that we rode together when we came here for the first time. So her first time at Universal, this is the first ride on our second date. So this holds a lot of good memories. That and uh, it's also just a really awesome ride. So let's go ride it. So the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, we have decided is S tier. It is an amazing ride. And what I would like to say about it is I feel like it doesn't get enough credit because of its age compared to some of the other things in the park that are growing throughout the years with Harry Potter and everything. But with it being a ride from the 90s and how amazing the technology is, that's what I noticed the very first time that I rode it was just, I was blown away by the technology that goes into it. And we can't build on it obviously because there's a lot of uh, 3D elements, so fair warning if you do get motion sickness. I do get very bad motion sickness, and that ride does trigger it. <laughs> Got the news. But it's like worth it just because of how amazing this ride is. So. Well, it's beautifully said, guys. I can't put it any better than that. She sold my words. It's an amazing ride. Get to it. We don't do much here in Toon Lagoon. It's kind of just a uh, walkway to the fun stuff. <laughs> um, I can't get this one to ride Popeye or Blues. And she never will. However, we do really enjoy. Yes. Do we enjoy? Do we enjoy anything here specifically? Oh, uh, she's talking about that one water ride. That other water ride. The one that's closed right now. 
just closed. The one that got set on fire at one point. So if it was open, we would ride it, but it's closed. We would? What do you mean, we? As you can see, Ripsaw Falls is undergoing set enhancements. Um, behind this giant wall. And it is really giant. Is Ripsaw Falls. I don't know if I would say it's S tier because the story itself is very, very confusing and makes absolutely no sense. However, it's fun if you want to get wet. I would, uh, just my two cents. I would consider this a uh, lower A tier ride. Definitely not S tier. The plot doesn't make any sense. You have to straddle the person in front of you like you've been married to them your whole life, even though it's just some stranger whose hairy legs are now right under your arms. There was a guy asleep in the control booth the first time I rode it at night in December, thanks to you. And it's kind of scary. But all in all, that's kind of how theme park rides should be. Kind of scary, a little confusing, a lot of fun. <laughs> a tier. All right, so here we're standing by uh, Jurassic Park River Adventure, which I would consider an S tier attraction. Just because the gigantic splash at the end is really incredible. I mean, you can even see here where the whole entire ground just gets soaked over here. So yeah, we really like this ride. We really like this whole like section of the park. Like from here to Hogsmeade, correct me if I'm wrong, best two, like two part section of any theme park like best two lands combined because you have this ride you have velocicoaster and then you just have hogsmeade itself which is beautiful so this and then hogsmeade it's really hard to beat it this is an amazing area you may have noticed that we kind of just bypassed the section known as kong we have decided as a duo that kong is kind of c tier it's like an okay ride, there's nothing wrong about it, but there's really, the land itself isn't really much of a land. We just thought the ride's okay. So the con is easy. And this is... S tier. S tier. Boom. Oh, yeah. A so little update, we rode River Adventure. We didn't really get wet. There was enough people in front of us. We were in the middle of the boat, so it was all good. We did just ride a lost coaster though, and it was, oh, as always, amazing. I would believe, and I think you'd agree, that Velocicoaster coaster is S tier. Yeah, it's like literally the most thrilling and like almost dangerous feeling like intense ride in Orlando for sure. I was telling him when we were waiting to get off that the second boost that you get on that when it speeds it up it literally feels like illegal how fast you are going yeah it kind of it kind of feels like a six flags ride kind of escaped and is now in like a really high quality theme park yeah like oh every every single turn the ride makes is so well designed and is there for like maximum like impact like you feel every single turn dip drop everything my favorite part is if you've been on it when you go fully upside down over the water and do like a corkscrew that's my favorite part yeah the whole ride gives you this really disorientating feeling like you know that scene in drake and josh where they get off that ride and their hair's all pushed back and they look like they just saw the second coming of Jesus that's what this ride is like it makes you feel like mm, just really 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 good like it's just a shot of adrenaline like it's pretty awesome that this ride exists yeah it's really good especially at a big huge theme park like this that's you know family orientated and you have like this monstrosity here but now we're heading over to and a lot of people say, oh, well, how come Velocicoaster never has a high wait time as something like Hagrid's, even though this one's newer? And I think we came to the agreement that this one always has a shorter wait time because it actually scares people. Hagrid's doesn't really scare people. This one is actually pretty intense. We are in the Lost Continent. Or as I like to call it, 
extended queue for Hagrid's motorbike adventure since if you're going to rope drop Hagrid's you're most definitely going to be waiting in the Lost Con then. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's well themed for what it is. There's just nothing to do here. Except... Poseidon's Fury, which is a interesting show. But it's nothing that you should go out of your way to see if you're here on vacation and only have like two days to come to Universal. You should definitely do things before Poseidon's Fury. So speaking of, the point of this quick trip that we decided to take today, we want to try and ride as many things as we can as possible because the wait times are so long. So when we come in through Hogsmeade, we're going to see how long the queue is for uh, Hagrid's. But if it is long, we might not ride it today just because we are trying to ride as many things as possible. And we really don't need to ride it to tell you that it is S tier because it is quite literally like the best ride. Disney like, or Universal. Anywhere in the world. Sorry, I don't know if that offends anybody. This is literally... We could probably do a whole entire video just breaking down how well themed this whole entire land is. So if you want to see that, let us know. Yeah, because it's actually kind of incredible just how many little Easter eggs there are in this rot in this whole entire land. And when you really broke me, I think if you just wanted to look and appreciate everything, there's a lot of care and a lot of detail that went into it, and uh, you just don't really get that anymore in uh, theme parks when they build new stuff. It's just incredible. So we're riding a uh, Forbidden Journey now because we obviously want to ride something here in Hogsmeade and Forbidden Journey is a really cool technical ride as well but I do think obviously going into Hogwarts Castle it is one of the best queues too. Oh this is the best queue at Universal. Where are we babe? Uh, we just took the train over from Hogsmeade over to King's Cross Station so now we are physically in Universal Studios. Uh, London, thank you very much. You know it's London because you can see Crusty uh, Land just straight ahead, you know, famous uh, London spot. We rode Forbidden Journey. Yeah, that was, uh, it was a journey. Like Spider-Man, it's really, really good for the screen and physical. Um, it's like Spider-Man upgraded. Um, but if you do have the once again, that's another one that yeah, it's really, unforgivable really if you have that. I'm pretty sure that a part of you dies every time we ride it. Uh, but now we're probably gonna go into Diagon Alley and do some things in on this side of the parks before the Christmas parade. All right. Yeah, so this is like way cooler than, Diago than uh, Hogsmeade. It's also uh, a little bit more crowded, but even on a day like today, it's not too bad. I think this one was like, well, they already knew how to make excellence when they made Hogsmeade. So this one, they really just went all out. This is just them just straight up flexing on all of us. Like this is, this is just how you perfect something that's all, that was already great. I mean, this is just amazing. All right, so uh, last time we were recording, it was uh, daylight outside, and we hadn't rode Green Gods, and we had not yet gotten stuck in the pre-show room when the doors refused to open after about 10 minutes. We rode the ride. We got some, frankly, very British ice cream, um, and then we watched the parade, and it was really, really cute, and then it snowed in Florida. So all in all, big recommendation. I highly recommend the strawberry and peanut butter ice cream from the ice cream place in Diagon Alley. Um, I got chocolate, so I can't really speak to that. It was chocolate ice cream. If you like chocolate ice cream, you'll probably like the chocolate ice cream over there. And the Macy's Christmas Parade is very, very cute. It's the same as last year, but I still thought it was very cute. It's the same as last year. It would have been even cuter though if they had like a little ET and like a Santa hat. 
Tell me that would be even cuter if it was like a little Santa E.T. Um, but we have a little over an hour left until this park closes. Island's already closed for the day. Um, so we're gonna go ride one of our favorite rides over here. E.T. Right? You will need an interplanetary passport. So before you leave E.T., tell your first name to one of our assistants and they'll give you your pass. He said her name. He called me Chris, so he's a little off on that one. That? What's your ranking? Um, if you were being objective, um, E.T.'s probably B tier, uh, probably, maybe even C tier, but I'm not being objective. Well, I'm not, I, I'm just saying, I think E.T. is, uh, in terms of classic theme park attractions at Universal, it's got to be A tier. It's cute. It's a little scary. She's going to say it's a little chilly in there, guys. It's very cold in there. Um, this planet's very, dying, babe. It's very anxiety provoking. And I said that last time we were at home. See, I think for a ride for kids, it's got it all. It's stressful, chaotic. It's an acid trip. Nothing makes sense. It's short. It's the perfect ride for kids. If it's going to be in a kid zone area, you yeah. might as you might as well make it like all those things. It truly is an acid trip, though. Okay, this is like the coolest like entrance, like outdoor like facade area to any ride ever. Well, especially at night, this just looks so cool. Especially, they they usually are playing some pretty bumping music over here. They're usually playing like, you know, some uh, MC Hammer, some Will Smith. Right now it's just Christmas music, which is okay. And if you didn't know, this ride is a competition. Yeah, she usually gets beat by me. The king of MIB. Um, so, this ride is kind of lame though when you have to do the Universe and U Tour. We'll see what happens. Are we alone? Join us now as we take you on a Alright, so we just got off of Men in Black. And, uh, would you like to tell them what happened? Christian won. Uh, the big surprise there, because I'm the GOAT at this ride. And, um, the person next to us got zero. So pretty there embarrassing. Was, there was nobody next to us. And um, yeah, I really think Men in Black is a S tier ride. It's just better than all the other like arcade style rides that are out there right now. It's so much better than Buzz Lightyear. Like the queue is better. The way you can just actually hold the gun and the way the point system works and then you can shoot the other people's ride vehicle. This is an S tier ride. Uh, obviously a lot of thought went into it when they designed it and um, except for the part where it spins at the end it's a ride that I think everyone can enjoy yeah not necessary at the end yeah there's really no reason for it to spin but um, we got here at 2 o'clock and it's now 6.30 and we rode Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Had to start with Spider-Man. River Adventure, Velocicoaster, Forbidden <laughs> Journey, E.T. Yeah. And Men in Black. We got six rides done in about four and a half hours. I would say a really productive day, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so at the end of this video, we're going to do a, up, a final list of our ranking of all the attractions at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. That's worth listing. Yes. Like, we're not obviously not going to mention Fast and Furious because that's obviously an F tier. Like, we don't even have to mention that. But um, Cat in the Hat, like, that's going to surprise you. Like, that's S tier, obviously. But you're going to have to stay tuned in the video if you want to find out where those sit. But just look at this, look at this pavilion back here. This is beautiful. Like this is really the crown jewel of, this is the crown jewel of Universal right here. Um, and I don't know, it's just, it's a really, really, really uh, beautiful section of the park. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this spontaneous trip to Universal with us and coming to yeah. see what some of our favorite rides are. So we originally had a reservation for Epcot today, but then we saw the wait times for Universal here and we were like, let's go to Universal. I think the longest line we waited in was Green Gods and it was accurately posted at around 25 minutes. Yeah. Other than that, everything else was pretty much welcome. Yeah, so if you're a Florida native, and you're thinking about coming to Universal this week, do it, because you'll probably walk on everything like we did. Uh, let us know if you want more content like this and more park, theme park vlogs. Because don't worry, we're gonna make them. Whether you want it or not. <laughs> yeah, so. and we'll have our updated list uh, later. But uh, for now, thank you for riding the rides with us. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya. Bye. Disclaimer, we forgot this ride existed but uh, it's A tier. <laughs>